Good morning, my lovely loves. How are you doing? This is Natalia on the 9th of November 2020. We've only got two more months left of 2020. Let's make them good ones. And let's begin this morning with our beautiful angel messages. There's some important things happening in the cosmos this week. So I want to talk about that this morning. And I hope you're all well. I hope everybody is doing well and that you all had a really lovely weekend. Now we had um, what, what they call bonfire night on November the 5th. It was when Guy Fawkes tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament a long time ago. And we always mark that occasion here in the UK with what we call bonfire nights. People like bonfires, they let off fireworks. So people have been letting off fireworks all week, pretty much last week. So the air is very misty and murky and foggy with all of the, um, all of the stuff that's kicked up from all of those fireworks being let off and those bonfires. So uh, it looks... It looks really surreal outside. It's like a scene from Spooky Hollow through the trees. Maybe I can show you. Let me just show you. Can you see? All misty out there. And all the trees are looking really bare. So I did lots of leaf sweeping this weekend. It was very therapeutic. So what did you get up to? How are you? Hello to everyone watching me live. Hello to everyone watching the replay. And hello to everyone who's watching on YouTube when I upload this as well. So let me dive in and say good morning to everybody who's joining me live. Christiane Cotterell, well I'm going to say good evening to you because you're on the other side of the world to me. Sheila Hamilton, good morning. Christiane, thank you for the stars. Now there is a little stars button. If you're watching me on certain devices you'll see it. And we've got a stars goal. We're halfway to the stars goal of 5,000 stars and I'm going to do a tea leaf reading live. I'm also going to do one of my special weeks, you know. Well, um, a themed week where I go live every day. So if we can get up to 5,000 stars raised this week, then I'll be going live every day next week. How's that? Let's see if we can do this. Thank you so much, Lynn Hardy, for the stars. And good evening to Nicole South. It is very autumnal, isn't it? Helen Gray, good morning to you. Good morning, Charlotte Nicholas and Hazel Kings. And... Um, Anna Marie Doyle is watching me. I think you're in Canada, aren't you, Anna Marie? Hello to you. Fiona Killeen, good morning to you, my love. Megan Brown, good morning. Marianne Lagaka, good morning to you, my love. Marianne's always the first person to comment on my, my posts every day. So I love Marianne. If Marianne hasn't commented, I'm like, where's Marianne? Is she okay? <laughs> Lucy Blackster, good morning. Wee Scott is watching. Hello there. Vicky Ray, good morning to you too. Beautiful. How are you doing? Um, Sherry Daniels, good morning. Angela Davis and Teresa McElhill, good morning to you. Lucy Blackster and Barbara Phipps, good morning to you. So I'm scrolling back up now to see who else has joined me in the meantime. Chris Troy is watching. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful Sue boys. Lots of love to you, Sue. Lots of love to everybody, but Sue's Sue's been sending me lots of love lately, so I'm sending it back. <laughs> it's my turn to go live. I love watching you. Sue goes live. She's got a group called Babble Dabble and they make things and talk about things that really super creative ideas. So would you mind popping a link to your group, Sue, yours and Gemma's group? Because I think quite a few of my followers here would really love to do a bit of babble and dabble. So you get to chat with people online and you get to make some things. So they made a t-shirt tote bag last week, making some recycled, upcycled earrings tonight at 7pm. But you can watch the replay as well if you can't watch it live. Angela Davis, thank you so much for the stars, my love. Marie Bakewell is watching. Hello. A Bright Heart is watching. Hello, A Bright Heart. I love your name. Is it a page or something? I don't know. Sonia Anders is watching. Hello, darling. Um, Charlotte O'Connor and Carol Bell are watching. And um, <laughs> Sue, thank you. Mel Sykes and MB Rojas are watching. Um, Anna Anne Bruff and Kim Wincup. Oh, Kim, hello, how are you doing? Franca Mazzarella is watching as well. Kim, I've not seen you in an age. Okay, my loves, right. Um, we've got something important happening this week. We have got Mars, the red planet, which is why I've got red, which is why I've got red here on my, on my table covering for Mars. 
because since the 9th of September, Mars has been going backwards in the sky. Now, Mars represents our drive, our ambition, our ability to get things done, our energy, our get up and go. It's our kick-ass planet. It's where we become warriors. And when it's going backwards, when it's going retrograde, like it has been doing since the 9th of September, it's ages, then it can slow us down in those areas that, where we want to move forward. So you might have been feeling a bit frustrated with certain things, depending on where Mars is in your birth chart. So for me, it has been going backwards in my first house, which is my whole identity. And it makes you go over things and you can feel frustrated about who you are and who you want to be. And you're asking these questions, who am I? If you find it going retrograde in your second house, you might be having frustrations with money. In your 8th house, or the people's money, money that's owed into you. In your 12th house, you might have had to go back over past mistakes and learn from them. People from the past coming back into your life. Um, so yeah, depending on where it was going backwards, it was frustrating you. So think about what's been frustrating you since the 9th of September. My daughter went back to university and I had that whole... I'm re reconfiguring my life, refiguring out who I am. What am I doing with my life? my loves. Spending it with you is probably the best part of my life right now, so I I really love this. I want to do more of it. I've decided I want to do more of it. Um, so yeah, so anyway, to, and to cut a very long story short, Mars is going to, to go direct on Friday the 13th, no less. So we're going to be Coming to, to an end of frustrating energy where we feel like we're just treading water, where we're pedalling and nothing's happening, where we make 10 steps forward and 12 steps back, you know, do you know that, that feeling? So that is coming to an end on Friday the 13th. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so happy. So hopefully, ending to frustration, there's some big stuff going on. Uh, 21st of December, big, big stuff, but we'll talk about that nearer the time. Jupiter is moving into Aquarius and it's going to be all about liberation and us reconnecting as a collective where we've been kept separate. So, oh, I'm so excited about that. It might be tough, you know, getting there, but it's going to be so good. Sue boys, thank you for the stars, my love. So before I get going on the angel messages for this very, very important week, I am going to say a few more hellos and then we'll get we'll get going. You can see I've got my angels laid out for our interactive reading. So Margarita Jeffries, hiya to you. Louise Duenkler, sorry, I'm really bad at pronouncing things. Du Louisa, hello. Um, Vanessa Dempsey, good morning. <laughs> Nicole, it does explain a lot. Marianne, thank you for the stars, my love. Lisa Weeks is watching. Good morning to you, lovely lady, too. Joy Cook is watching. Good morning. Janine Smelt, good morning. And like I said, Sue Boys, dab, babble and dabble. I said dabble and babble. Babble and dabble, isn't it? I get it wrong. Karen Williams, good morning to you. And Franca Mazzarella. Um, I've said hello to you twice, but anyway, I can never say hello to you enough, can I, Franca? Uh, good morning to the beautiful Donna Marie Medotto. Excuse me. Oh, my coffee coming, coffee coming back up. I'm feeling so much happier today. Um, I'm feeling like the, the tides are turning, aren't they, with the, with the planets in the skies. So I'm just going to draw some cards for this week. So we're going to have three cards because Mars is going forwards again. And Mercury's going forwards as well. Mercury's being retrograde. So communication and action. Both of those have been blocked or frustrated or stagnant. And so I'm going to get our groove back on, my loves. Yes, we are. No more looking back, right? Done far too much of that this year. And been forced to by the cosmos. Forced Chelsea McGrory. <laughs> Like, easy for me to say, Chelsea. Um, yeah, let's move forward. Huh? Move forward positively. Now, before I get going with this, I just want to show you these beautiful bracelets that the gorgeous Bernadine Turley of Silver Apples made for me, sent me. Aren't they beautiful? Pink agate. I'm so lucky and so blessed. And these beautiful flowers, which is a combination from Nicole... Um, Nicole, I've forgotten your surname. Um, 
Julie Kubiak, Nicole Dyke, sorry, Julie Kubiak and Estella Coleman all sent me flowers at the same time and I put them all together in this massive vase. So thank you everybody for the beautiful gifts that you sent me. All right, now let Rebecca Mason, good morning. Let's have a look and see what's coming up then for the week. Um, so first of all, this represents the beginning of the week. Now, you know, Mars is still retrograde and Mercury is still in its shadow until around the 11th of November. Um, the, I think it might be until about the 13th of November, actually. So, um, you know, we're, we're not going to really get our groove back. We're not going to get our full steam ahead energy going until Friday. So the beginning of this week is all about reflection, um, but, but taking our time to think about things. So if you've got an important decision, then that decision is not going to get made by a spreadsheet, by you doing lots of um, critical analysis. It is going to be done through you really trusting your gut feel on it. That which cannot be explained, that which cannot be proven. That's what the intuition is. It whispers gently to us, whereas our ego screams at us. Our ego makes us move fast. Our ego can't wait. It's like a toddler having a temper tantrum. It gets us excited. It gets us breathless. Whereas our gut feeling, our intuition, speaks softly, says rest, think it through. Do the 10 rule, the rule of 10. Will this matter in 10 minutes, 10 days, 10 years? And also the rule of 10 of leave it 10 minutes, leave it 10 hours, leave it 10 days if you can. That's what Haniel is saying to you today. No knee jerks at the beginning of the week. Don't throw yourself into something without thinking it through, without at least sleeping on it. Carol Bell, thank you for the stars, my love. You're amazing. And... Um, you know, this, this is the thing, isn't it? That we know what our highest self always knows what's best for us. So if you have an important decision to make, if you're ruminating on something at the beginning of this week, up until about Tuesday, beginning of Wednesday, think it through carefully, sleep on it, come back to it in the morning. I did this. I had a workman come and do some stuff. I've had two different workmen doing stuff in my house. The first one, he was fitting a bath panel, made a white song and dance about everything. He left a mess everywhere. He downed tools at three o'clock and said, oh, I've got places to be. I'll come back and do it another day. And he was supposed to be doing some other work in my house. And I immediately, I wanted to ring him and go, don't bother coming back. Just, just leave it. Whereas my bath panel's kind of half on, half off. It's a right mess. And as my higher self that kind of whispered to me, no. Just leave it. Think about it over the weekend. I've thought about it over the weekend. I'm going to let him come and finish the bath panel tomorrow morning. And then he's not doing any more work in my house. My gut feels screaming at me. Well, whispering gently to me. Don't let him do any more work. Because he's a bit shady. I don't, don't like his vibe. So that's how we're leaving it. But he's going to finish what he started with, with the bath panel. Um, so anyway, yeah. Rule of ten, Nicole. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. So Linda is posting some stuff. Let me just read what you're saying, Linda. Linda, Linda, how are you doing, Linda? I have not seen you for ages. So your ex keeps checking up on you in Mercury retrograde, trying to release and decide to move on with zero contact. Yeah, exes during Mercury retrograde. People come back into your life. Um, love it or loathe it. They come back and they usually come back for a reason because you've got unfinished business and something has to have closure or get rebooted. So the choice is yours or sometimes the choice isn't yours. Sometimes, you know, that stuff is presented to you again to process because you haven't fully dealt with it. So I know exactly what that feels like. I have been dealing with that kind of stuff in Mercury Retrograde for sure. And Linda, you said you're also filling out paperwork to go to uni at your age, not really deciding, just doing the paperwork and leaving the finances and things to the universe. So you're trusting your gut, aren't you? <clears throat> and I'm really sorry to hear, Marie, you've got a broken shoulder. Oh, So Marie, let's send Marie lots of love. Um, send Marie some hearts today because that's just 
horrid, isn't it, my my darling? So lots of love to you. My shoulder's hurting me, and I and I it's only like it just needs a bit of a massage. <laughs> so I feel your pain quite literally, and I can imagine if it was broken, it would just be like a million times worse. So so sorry to hear that, my love. Okay, so um, this represents the middle of the week. And we've got this beautiful fresh energy coming in just before Mars turns direct, stations direct. And this card's been coming up quite a lot, hasn't it, for my regulars who have been watching me for a while. Nancy Zimmerman, thank you for the stars, my darling. We've had the Ace of Water week on week. So something's brewing in the heavens when it comes to love. So, you know... The sun's in Scorpio right now. All bets are off. It's Scorpio's intensity. And because the Ace of Water is about diving deep into emotions. And Scorpio's pretty intense and pretty emotional. But those emotions are buried so deep and when they come up, oh gosh. They can be painful. They can be difficult to deal with. We don't know what to do with them. But the Ace of Water says, I'm going to show you how to where to put those emotions so it i i'm gonna say to you it's gonna be an intense week again before mars goes direct i think there's going to be deep diving intuitively deep diving emotionally which does lead us to an emotional new beginning and it will say also <clears throat> we have a new moon happening on the 15th of I'm just going to double check this. I'm sure it's the 15th of November. Yeah. Sunday the 15th of November. We've got the Scorpio new moon. And that is going to be like a breath of fresh air. But it could be emotional. The water sign new moon's always emotional. Because we're breaking out of these. Um, all, of the, all of the stuff that we've been pushing down. It cannot be held down anymore. Like a magnet the moon is pulling it up pulling it out of us. It's going to be a big weekend, my loves. It's going to be a big week. And you could meet somebody new or a relationship could move to another le whole other level of depth and feelings. Feelings could be expressed this week. And some of you may be even moving home or get news of the fact that you can move home or that you need to move home. So all of that we're going to deal with this week, but it's all for our highest good. So don't reject any of it. You know, the universe knows best, doesn't it? At the time we're thinking, it's dragging me kicking and screaming towards my destiny and I don't want to. It's making me feel all these horrible things and I don't want to. And then when you come out the other side of it, you go, actually, that was really cathartic. So Don is a Scorpio, yes. It's your new moon, my darling. So anybody who's got a really strong Scorpio in your birth chart, it's your, it's your time. So make lots of wishes, everybody, but in particular Donna. <laughs> And anybody who's who's a sun sign Scorpio moon um, ascendant. Okay, so oh look at this. Now I love this card because it's grounding us. We need grounding. So when Mars moves direct, Mercury is going to be out of shadow. We have the new moon breaking on Sunday. This represents the week the weekend. We are able to really get down to focus 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 on things isn't that brilliant now we're coming up to very shortly we're coming up to Sagittarius season the sun is going to be moving into Sagittarius around the 22nd of December of November sorry and so in another week or so we'll be talking about that but Sagittarius represents the higher mind so it's about learning study and concentration it's about depth it's about our beliefs so this will be really important for us to think about what do we want to learn as you as you are on the, the cusp of moving into Sagittarius season. So is there something that you're wanting to explore, investigate, um, to, to study, to learn, to pour your attention into? Is there something that you already have done? You've got some kind of qualification under your belt. Maybe you've got some skills that have lain dormant. Well, this weekend could be the turning point when those skills come out and be used and appreciated. And you get money for them. So isn't that lovely? So that's what that new moon in Scorpio could represent. 
because Scorpio represents the eighth house and the eighth house is other people's money. Eighth houses, inheritances. It can be like the f what we've inherited down the family line, you know, the skills and the talents and the wisdom and you putting that into place. It could be your ancestors prompting that as well. So I tell you now, my loves, it's going to be an intense week but we need that don't we sometimes we need the intensity before we get into the frivolity nicole's just sent me stars thank you darling thank you so much you're all so generous i love you all and that's why i do what i do because we're all connected and it's just so beautiful so let's talk about you now because we you want to get a personal message don't you so let's get you one so i'm going to just move you towards the angels so we have Angel number one, this is the little angel holding a star with feathers in her body. Isn't she beautiful? She's got little glittery wings. I love her, a glittery halo and a glittery star. Angel number two, now angel number two is very special to me because I was visiting Glastonbury and nearby to Glastonbury there is a cathedral in the, in the, the town of Wells might be a city, I don't know, I think it's a town. Wells Cathedral. And in this cathedral they had, in the cathedral shop, they had these little angels. And that one's holding a star, this little glass angel. And I was with Mr. Loved, I was in a relationship with him at the time, and he bought me this, this angel with a star. So I know, I did tell you at the time, but a year ago we broke up we broke up and we, we were still friends and everything. Well, sadly he passed last weekend. Um, so I got this angel with the star out because I thought it would be really nice to remember him and to do a little, um, pick an angel this morning with the angel that he gave me on that day. So very special memories of him. Rest in peace, Mr. Love Day. Okay, and the third angel is the golden angel. So this is um, a beautiful angel that is hand carved by Bali, I don't know how you say it, Balian artisans. And it's, um, it's covered in gold leaf. So isn't that beautiful? So, um, okay, yeah, it is special. And you know, just because you're not with somebody romantically doesn't mean you don't still love them, does it? It's kind of like a little part of you reserved for that person so anyway don't get me oh I didn't want to mention this because I get so emotional but anyway let us move on okay so number one you just give me a second I kind of thought I'd got all this out that's why I mentioned it but I clearly haven't Okay, sorry, my loves. Okay, number one. So your message, my loves, this is from my Oracle of Wisdom and Beauty. And this is a really beautiful um, message because it's all about being able to get out of those obsessive patterns that we've been in. So it's like, you know, sometimes our life feels like it's a big muddle. Life feels like there's all these kind of tangled wires and have you ever tried to untangle um, a, a ball of wool or a chain? Chains are the worst, they get all knotted. And sometimes everything has to go um, into like a bigger mess before it gets sorted out. So that is, what this energy feels like in this card and when I created this card this particular card I was feeling that kind of frustration you know like everything's a big tangled mess and I just keep going around in circles in order to try and untangle it but untangle it you will you know this is about freedom so it's the number 41 the number 41 when we add four and one together in Neurology, I can't look at your messages right now because I will cry again. So thank you so much. Uh, I'll look at them later. Um, 
so 41 is 5 when we add the 4 and 1 together in numerology and 5 is freedom, it's adventure, it's action. So that ties in really beautifully with being able to move out of um, a place of stuckness where we've been obsessing or somebody's been obsessing about us or we've, we've felt like we're, we're just stuck and we just want something to happen and finally you let go of it, you know, you let go and you can move forward. So that's really beautiful, isn't it? And I feel as though it, in five days' time, that's going to be a really important thing for you. When the, when Mars goes direct, finally you're going to be able to, to be freed from these things, these patterns, these cycles. So I hope that resonates. And, um, oh, Lisa, oh, you're... Lisa is your daughter. Oh wow, Joy, that's amazing. I didn't know. Oh, I'm so glad she got this as a gift for you. I hope you like them. So this is um, card number two. And wow, we have, if you chose number two, we have this new beginning. So isn't it funny that it's in alignment with, um, connects with my Mr. Love Days angel that he got me. Um, because it is a new beginning, it's a new start, it's a new dawn. So anything that ends has a new beginning, always. So it might feel painful at the time it ends. Maybe you ended something, maybe something has come to an end. But mark my words, my love, that anything that ends always has a new beginning. So something always starts up. Nothing ever is completely over in terms of, you know, like when, so you, you, you lose a job or you um, lose out on something and it's it's over, it's done with. But there's always something else out there for you. There's always some new energy that's gonna rush in and fill that space. Just know that, just have comfort in that. Um, so yeah, that is the new moon. And because, of, because you chose this, number one, the new moon, the future of your dreams is what you create at the new moon because New moons are all about setting those intentions. So on Sunday the 15th of November, those of you who chose number two, I want you in particular to make some really important wishes. I'd like you to write down 10 things that you really want to have in your life. And then I'd write, like you to, after that, write down 10 things that you're already grateful for. Because when you do that side by side, that is you showing appreciation to the universe for all the things it's already given you as well as the things that you want. So that is your little mission today. Those of you who chose number two, I'll come back to these other cards, okay? Um, so don't go away just yet. <laughs> don't leave me just yet. And then our third um, card with a beautiful little carved golden angel. It's like golden angel of peace. Oh, thank you, Kim. I'm glad you enjoy this deck. Now, isn't that lovely that you had chosen the golden angel and you got this golden card? And this is the number 29. And 29, when we add 2 and 9 together, is 11. 11 is the powerful number of manifestation. So you can manifest whatever you wish for. Look at this mama bear, she's got the wish star around her neck. She holds the power at her throat chakra because she believes in herself and she knows her life's mission. So you're on a mission. I feel like there's something very important connected to your soul's mission this week. And it's very much about you connecting with that mission and making those wishes. But as you make those wishes, knowing within your very heart and soul that you have everything that you need to be able to accomplish that, to be able to make those dreams a reality by taking those steps that you're guided to take, because the mother bear is so powerful. She's fearless. So think about those wishes as though they were like your bear cubs. Protect them with your life. Create the future that you want to live because you've created the one that you're living right now, you know? The things that you have right now, the things that you're doing, those were wishes. Those were seeds of ambition in your mind and aspiration long ago and you've done it already. So you can do it a million times over, my love, just believe in yourself. So that is your message for those of you who chose number three. Ooh. <laughs> so not a mic drop, an angel drop. 
<laughs> Thank you, White Heart. Um, so our final messages, if you chose number one, this comes from My Little by Natalia deck. So think about a question that you've got on your mind, a very simple question. This is an answer to it if you chose number one. This is not the right time, okay? I feel like you might be obsessing about something you're trying to make happen and you're going around in circles. And that, that's no, but it's not never. So I feel as though for you, if you can hang on for the next five days, five weeks at the most, then you will start to see how this can work out for you, okay? So you can wait five days, you can certainly wait five weeks, and then you will know, actually, I'm really glad I waited, okay? Because not right now, it doesn't mean never, it means not right now. So waiting is beautiful because it makes the victory or the, the gains all, all the sweeter, doesn't it? So number two, think about a question that you'd like an answer to, a very simple question, and your answer is abundance is coming to you. So it's a new start with abundance. Now this is abundance as well, because we've got the orange of the sacral chakra, but that's a paler colour, so it's like abundance is coming, but not in the way that you expect. What well, abundance is every, you know, whatever it is that you want in abundance is what that means to you. It's not just money. Be an abundance of love, of health, of happiness, friendship. Um, so it's a little bit paler because you're going to have to wait for it because it's going to come in a way that you didn't expect or at a time you didn't expect. But for you guys, this is a new beginning and just, you know, go, go with that new beginning. Embrace it because it's bringing you so much abundance. That's beautiful. Thank you for that message. I feel like it's come from Keith Love Day <laughs> this morning. <laughs> And then the third message is just sleep on it. The answers will come to you. So maybe you've been trying to figure out what to do and this comes back to our high priestess message, doesn't it? Haniel's saying to you, just sleep on it. Just meditate on it. You've got all the answers you need. Your intuition is so powerful. Now the blue on this card here, it's pale blue, represents the throat chakra. So the throat is all about hearing messages and speaking your truth. So, you know, a lot of people think the throat chakra is just about our communication, our expression, our creativity, but it's actually about listening, it's about hearing. It's really important to hear. So I feel like you're, the answers that you, you are seeking are going to be given to you, threaded into maybe your dreams maybe when you go to sleep this this week you're going to have some important dreams so write them down um google the meaning of the dream as well because that's so important you know before i heard about mr love day passing the week before i kept dreaming about snake skin shedding the skin so it's interesting isn't it and the snake is is healing it's wisdom so um it's so many things so we, our dreams tell us some really important things. Okay, my loves. So, I'm going to leave it there. And I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me. Those of you who watch week in, week out, I do appreciate it so much. Being able to connect with you, especially in these times where we are in lockdown again in the UK. We're, we're in lockdown until the 2nd of December, I think it is. Um, so, our connection here is never been more important and uh, I know that so many of you um, need that connection at the moment so we're here we're all here for you and thank you so much for all your love I'm gonna go back and read your comments after I had a cup of coffee and um, I thank you so much my loves you take care of yourselves sending lots of love your way always